we we're trying to um we're not yeah be strong for her we just want her back home anguish for the family of missing five-year-old Jose Maria Alaves. As the desperate search for the little girl continues tonight, an Amber Alert remains in effect now two days after she disappeared from Cumberland County. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Police say that they are looking for a man driving a red van in connection with Dulce's abduction. She disappeared from a Bridgeton Park Monday afternoon. The Amber Alert was issued more than a day later after new details emerged about a possible kidnapper. And we have team coverage tonight. Let's begin with Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan with the latest on the investigation. Cleve. Yuki and Jessica, police tell us that reviewing body and dash cam video from officers when they first responded to this park played a vital role in generating leads on a possible kidnapper. And family of five year old Dulce Maria Alves say anyone with information that could help police, please, they need to speak up. She means a lot for me. I would give anything for her to come back. Nayabir Alaves Perez says every hour that passes while her niece Dulce Maria Alaves is missing is torture. We as a family, we, really, we feel really sad, really bad for not finding my niece. We don't know who took her, who's with her, how she's doing and everything. The only thing we're trying to do is find her. Five-year-old Dulce disappeared Monday afternoon while playing with her little brother on a playground in Bridgeton sprawling city park. The girl's mother, Noema, was sitting in a car nearby and told police she didn't see what happened to her daughter. For the first day and a half, more than 60 police officers searched for Dulce in the woods and nearby waterways. Meanwhile, detectives conducted a simultaneous criminal investigation. Using body and dash cam cameras from the first officers on the scene, they tracked down people who were in the park around the time the girl disappeared. From those new interviews, they determined Dulce was likely abducted by a man in a red van. Late Tuesday night, state police issued an Amber Alert. We don't have any solid suspects. We're investigating all the possibilities. Police say Dulce's mother is cooperating with investigators and the girl's father is not in the U.S. While police cannot rule out that a person Dulce knows took her, this family is asking people not to jump to any conclusions at this heart-wrenching time. Well, it's really more harder for us because they're judging us that we have something to do with it when we don't. We might not show emotional or things like that because we're trying to, we're trying to, um, we're not, yeah, be strong for her. We just want her back home. Here is the description that police are providing right now about the possible suspect. They say that he is a light skinned, possibly Hispanic man, somewhere between 5'6, five, 5'8 five tall. They say that he has no facial hair but does have acne on his face. He was last seen wearing orange sneakers, red pants, and a black shirt. They describe his vehicle as a red van, possibly a minivan with a sliding door and tinted windows. Anyone with information should call police and please keep spreading the pictures and information about little Dulce. Live in Bridgeton, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Share, retweet, do what you can. Cleve, thank you. Our team